Firstly, do you guys have, do you guys have any regrets in your life? Well, personally for me, I do, and I have a lot. So before I begin my speech, I would like you guys to please firstly all close your eyes. Everyone, all close your eyes. And ask yourself, if you guys have a chance to go to the past and change something, what would you do? It could be something you did or something you didn't do. It could be a missed opportunity. Now open your eyes. I want you guys to look all around you. Look at your friends, everyone around you. And realize that everyone has consciously or subconsciously made several decisions throughout their life that has changed the course of your life. And for me, I realized that through my life, I've made many, many decisions. And that as we continue to dive into the world of decision making, as well as regrets, we can see two main types of regrets, which is what we did and what we didn't do. And I can tell you one is usually much, much worse. Hi everyone, I'm Bao from year 11, and this is my story. So a couple of months ago, I was a part of Project Reward. And by the way, I would also like to say thank you to everyone who was present at the concert, the core team and the volunteers for helping us to set the concert. And um, so Project Blue War is basically us hosting musical concerts to fundraise for different charities. And last time we uh, managed to fundraise a lot of money for Operation Smile and Health and Health Patients. And so when I was first invited to join um, the project by the president, I discussed with him my roles and responsibilities. And I hesitated, I panicked. I, 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 although I really wanted to join the project, I panicked and hesitated. Because I realized that my role as a vice president would stretch much more than what I could possibly imagine in Adam. Um, I would have to overlook all aspects of the project. I would have to also do HR tasks, which for me is quite, I would consider a nightmare, simply because everyone in the project was older than me. And at the time, we didn't have an HR member, so I had to overlook those tasks. And as a younger peer, it is just basic human decency that I would always have to pay respect for elder peers. And at the same time, though, because as the VP, I would also have to care about my responsibilities. For instance, uh, reminding them of their tasks, chasing deadlines, as well as always supporting them. And when the progress is slow, and I panicked, of course, because I am a people pleaser, and it is really hard for me when it comes to conversations and stuff. And I hesitated. I wanted to give up, but I didn't. I also hesitated because three weeks before the project, three weeks before our concert, we were still missing many crucial elements of the whole operation. And three weeks before the concert, we've only been able to fundraise 20% of our goal, which is barely enough to set the concert itself, let alone being able to fundraise our, for our patients. And our sponsors also decided to change some requirements last minute, which, by the way, wasn't in any of our initial plans or our backup plans. Uh, four days before the event, 15 minutes before the first rehearsal at the venue, we are. We didn't have enough volunteers. So standing there at the venue, I had to call all my friends who I think we, who could possibly make it to the event, call after call after call, almost begging everyone to please come and help us and support us. Two hours before the event, our printing shop called and canceled our order. Basically, there were some miscommunications between the backdrop, and by then, I was devastated. There was no way that we could possibly call up another shop and ask them, hey, can you print us a backdrop in two hours because our concert is starting? It is impossible. 15 minutes before the event, only 15 out of 100 of our guests were there at the venue. Vietnam's traffic and bad weather got the best of us that day. But luckily, by 7.15 p.m. October 14, 2023, the Arantia concert started. And by the way, before that, as the stage director, I had to make some very last minute decisions, including switching up the MC script, apologizing to our sponsors, to our guests for the delay, etc. And luckily, we still made it. Luckily, the audience engaged the show and enjoyed it. And I can now proudly say that we've made it. We've survived. If you ask me now, do I, do I regret joining Project Blue War? Yes, I do. I regret joining Project Blue War. I regret not joining it earlier. I regret not taking up similar opportunities that I was offered to in the past. And now I want to quote one of my favorite musical artists of all time, Taylor Swift. If you never beat, you're never gonna grow. 
and it's all right now. It's a lyric from the song The One. And I agree with it because your biggest regret may not be what you never did, but it's not, it may not be what you did, but it is what you've never done before. It is the missed opportunity. It is what you wanted to tell someone who never but missed the opportunities to do so. And if you can, choose to look beyond this regret. Choose to try, fail, learn, and repeat. If you can, don't hesitate. Just try to do it. Because even though the experience may be actually horrible, it will still teach you some extremely valuable lessons. I've tried, I've learned, I've failed, I've struggled, but at the end of the day, I've become a much stronger person. Thank you, everyone.